Kim, let's talk about kids trying to pit uh, one parent against the other. I mean, you know the typical scenario. Um, your daughter asks you for something and you say no. And then she ignores it because she knows that she has her father has a soft spot for her. And so she goes to you, your but her dad and asks the same question. And the father says yes. And they kind of like they, they kind of like know how to very early in life they know how to play one parent against the other. Uh, what do you have to say about that? I, I have a funny story about that. Um, when Greg's parents had a bay house and they were moving out of it, and she came and offered me these fifty-year-old sheets and and ask if I wanted them, I said, oh, no, I'm good, thank you. And so then she went to Greg and asked him if he wanted them, and he said yes. And I said, we teach our kids not to do that. <laughs> but um, anyway, so Greg, who can't say no to anything, took the sheets for, oh, we can use them for rags. <laughs> but um, yes, we very much teach our kids not to do that. And the way that we do that, first of all, we've talked about that, that they're not allowed to do that. If you get a no from one parent, you're not, not allowed to go to the other one and get a yes. But the other thing that we do just to safeguard that is Greg usually says, well, what'd your mom say? And, um, well, then why don't you go ask your mom? And so uh, if, well, I haven't asked mom yet, well, go ask your mom. And so, and I'll do the same thing. What did daddy say? And, um, and if they haven't talked to daddy, well, why don't you go ask daddy on that one? Um, and so we defer back to each other and, um, and that just helps. And so for one, our kids know they're not allowed to do that. And then for two, we just kind of safeguard it by doing that. Well, what did daddy say? What did mommy say? Great, good move. So they really have not tried that with you guys, huh? Oh, they've tried it, but they're <laughs> they don't get away with it. So they, I mean, they have learned that, that that's not acceptable in our home. We now, just, we don't allow that. Now, in, 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 in later life, how, how is that, why is that important? I know we've talked about uh, instant obedience, which I think is fantastic when you teach your kids, kids how to obey instantly. But how, how does that apply in later life? If, um, if it, can you think of any scenario how well, that's important? Well, I can in that um, we want to have a united front with our children. And although we are individuals and have our own ideas about things, we still, in our parenting, will come together and we'll discuss is issues and we want to have a united front. So um, we have learned to, um, to do that so that as they grow older, they, um, I mean, and that applies certainly as they get older too, that they, it's not even an issue with our teenagers. They don't come to one to the other. They'll come to one and um, sometimes I'll say, well, let me talk to daddy about that. Or, or if, if you know, like if they're off to college, I'll say, well, I'll talk to Daddy about that. And so it's just the respect that I'm giving him that I'm going to get his opinion on something. So they that that helps them and and just their. Um, my dad used to tell me that it was more important that our kids knew that um, that we love each other as an adult, even that they know our love for them. They're more secure as they see the love that we have for one another. So um, it brings security and it, it grounds them to know that um, I'm not going to go against something that Greg has said. And so if that's if he has given his opinion on it, then that's what we're going to go with. Fantastic. Thank you.